Hey there guys and welcome back. My name's Hamish and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to calibrate your ESC. Now calibration is important as it sets the positions for full throttle, neutral and brake. Calibration is necessary whenever replacing the ESC, transmitter or receiver. And it may even be necessary from time to time if the throttle starts to play up. Now I recommend starting by removing the wheels from the model just as a safety precaution, as if you make a mistake during the calibration process, there is a slight chance that the car can go full throttle. Now that you've removed the wheels, make sure that the transmitter and receiver are bound and that the batteries in the car and the transmitter are fully charged. You'll also want to make sure that the throttle trim is set to zero. Press and hold the set button located on your ESC. While holding down the set button, simply turn on the ESC. Immediately release the set button and you'll notice the ESC LED is now flashing red and the motor is beeping. With the throttle trigger left in the neutral position, press the set button again. The ESC will flash green and beep once to indicate the neutral position has been set. Now apply full throttle and press the set button. The ESC will flash green and beep twice to signal the full throttle position has been set. Then apply full brake and press the set button again. The ESC will flash green and beep three times to signal the full brake position has been set. The ESC will then automatically flash green and beep twice to indicate the calibration is complete. You can now go ahead and return the throttle trigger back to the neutral position. Now that you've completed the calibration process, I highly recommend that you bench test everything to make sure it's working correctly before your first run. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this video useful and be sure to subscribe for regular videos.